What is up? Brie E. Anderson here, and today we are going to be talking about Google Ads data in Google Analytics 4. So let's get to it. You may have noticed that in Google Analytics 4, things are laid out a little bit differently, but fear not. If you want to get to a view that is closest to Universal Analytics in this primary navigation, you're just going to go to the report section. Now, from here, you would think that your Google Ads data would be under acquisition because that's where it used to be, right? And if you go under acquisition, you see there's an overview, there's user acquisition. So the first time somebody comes to your site and there's traffic acquisition, anytime somebody comes to your site or any session, right? How did they get there for that session? But there's no Google Ads data here. If you go into either of these sections, you'll see that um, Google Ads may be listed. So usually this is under default channel group um, and Google Ads might fall in here. It would actually just be paid search or paid display, or paid video, whatever it is, depending on what kind of ads you're running. However, if you want to see the actual Google Ads data that we used to see in Universal Analytics, you're going to need to go into acquisition overview. This is the only place that you can find your Google ads data in Google Analytics 4. So in this overview, you'll notice there are some main cards up here and then there are some detail cards. Now these detail cards all have blue text at the bottom with an arrow next to them. This one is specifically for Google ads. Um, it says sessions by Google ad campaign and you can change it here if you would like. Now, if you click on the blue text at the bottom that says view Google ads campaigns and you click on it, it takes you to the Google ads report that you're used to seeing. So it reports on um, sessions, but it also reports on ads, clicks, cost, cost per click, conversions, cost per conversion, return on ad spend, all that stuff, which is exactly what we're looking for. But again, the only way you can get to it is if you go into your acquisition overview. However, if you would like to see this in your navigation, you can actually do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this button in the top right corner that looks like a pencil. Once you click on that, it will say, you know, customize report here. You can change the dimension that you see. You can change the metrics that you see. So I don't have any values assigned to my conversion. So we can get rid of return on ad spend because I don't have a value to give it. So I'm just going to click apply, but you don't actually have to make any changes to this. Either way though, we're going to save this report and we're going to save it as a new report. We're going to call this report Google ads and click save. You'll notice now when we go back, there is no navigation reports navigation over here. What happens is actually this report is thrown into the library. So again, if we go to our reports navigation here or, or our primary navigation here and click on reports, this secondary navigation comes up and we're able to see the library at the bottom. Now, if you go into the library, you'll notice that there are these collections and at the bottom there are the reports. Now, these collections are what make up the navigation in Google Analytics 4. So what we're going to do, because now we have this Google Ads report, is we're going to edit the lifecycle collection. You can really put this wherever you want, but this is where it was in Universal Analytics. So we're going to look for our Google Ads report here and we're going to drag it under acquisition because, again, that's where it was in Universal Analytics and we're going to save to current collection. Now, when we go back and we drop down acquisition, you will see your Google Ads report. So it's really that easy. All you have to do is go into the acquisition overview, find the card, click the view Google Ads report, save that report, and then go to the library and put it in your navigation. I know it's a lot of work, but once you do it, it's going to be so much easier to find your Google Ads report. So get to it and good luck.